this thing on? Hey guys, welcome back to Ralph's Garage. Today we're going to take a look at this cheap Tecton torque wrench and uh, we're going to send it out to calibration and see if it passes. Stay tuned because these are $40 and if you're in need of a torque wrench, this might just be what you need. All right, let's take a look at this torque wrench. First, actually, let me let me show you what this thing costs. So this is, oh, I just added it to my cart, although I don't need one because I have one. So this is a 200, or this is a 20 to 200 inch pound quarter inch drive torque wrench. Right here, these are the pictures. Anyway, it's $40. And a couple cool things about Tecton that I'll get to in a little bit, but let's take a look at the torque wrench. It comes in this nice blow mold case, keeps it nice and protected. It'll be fine. Just kidding. I wouldn't smack it around like that. Even though it would probably be okay, I, I still wouldn't do that. Um, I don't keep it in this just because this takes up a lot of space, um, but they are really good, and if I need to take the torque wrench, with me on the road or something, I will put it in this, so I hang on to it. I keep it in my little Go toolbox here, and it's in the bottom. So this is the torque wrench here. And as you can see, the scale goes from 20 to 200 inch pounds, which for a lot of people, this is not gonna be the torque wrench that you're gonna want. If you're an aviation mechanic, this is the torque wrench that you're gonna want. Um, at least for helicopters. We do a lot of low torque stuff. So that's what I bought this for, is for work. So um, $40, you really can't beat it. And uh, of course I had to send it out for calibration using it in aviation. So uh, I have the calibration results here. Actually, let's leave that out. So here's the calibration. The place that it went to is Pro Beta. Uh, Calibration services, Pro Beta Calibration Services in uh, Oklahoma. So you can see Texan Torque Wrench, the model right here. It's a 24320, 24320. And then I assigned this serial number to it, RCF001. There it is. Um, the date of calibration, it was September 19th, 2020. It'll be due again in 2021. It was received intolerance, and it was returned intolerance as found. Um, so basically, it passed calibration out of the box without needing to be adjusted at all. And there is a little adjustment here um, for the calibration. Of course, the Caltech would do that with the proper tools, uh, you know, as he makes adjustments. So let, let's break this down a little more. There's really only three spots where they check it. So they check it at 20% of its usable range, which is 20 inch pounds, or 40 inch pounds. So at 40 inch pounds, it put 40.5, so half an inch pound off. And the limits for that, so the low limit is 38.4, and the high limit is 41.6. So it was pretty much right dead square in the middle. A little on the high side, but half an inch pound is fine by me. So at 60% is, a, is the next place they check it at, and that's 120 inch pounds. It measured 122 inch pounds. The low limit for that's 115.2, and the high limit's 124.8. And then they check it at 100%, which is 200 inch pounds. So generally, you don't want to use a, one of these torque wrenches at the high end or the low end of the scale. You want to stay in the middle. You don't want to push it all the way to the extremes. But they tested it at 100% anyway. 200 inch pounds, it put 206.1 inch pounds. So that's a little high, but I'm not going to use it for 200 inch pounds. I'm not probably going to go 190. If I need 200, I'm going to grab the next size up torque wrench. So. It put 206.1, the low limit's 192, the high limit is 
208. So it was closer to the high limit, but still within limits. So there you go. $40 torque wrench, the 20 to two, the 20 to 200 inch pound torque wrench, $40 pass calibration out of the box. So for me, this, this is great. I'm super happy. I can't complain because let's look, let me look up uh, how much like a snap on. Okay. It doesn't look like um, Snap-on makes a 20 to 200. The closest I can find is a 40 to 200 inch pound torque wrench and listed on Snap-on's website here $342. So is the Snap-on better? Probably. But the calibration and the calibration check is all that matters and this passes. So this is going to get the job done and it's going to get the job done to the standard so if you're starting out in aviation, you're starting out even in auto mechanics, I'm sure there are other torque wrenches will calibrate just as well. But if you're in need of a, of a torque wrench, especially a 20 to 200 inch pound torque wrench, this passed right out of the box. So there's not much more I can say about that. Um, on to Tecton as a, as a tool company, they, I have a lot of their tool, and you can see I have Snap-on mixed in here. This is actually Harbor Freight. These little flush cut jobbers, they work great. Um, these are snap-on. They work gr really great. This is Tecton. So this is a really nice, uh, like, little tiny duck bills. But the thing with this is it doesn't have any grooves inside here. It's smooth. So if you're doing, like, safety wire, this won't leave the little groove marks in the safety wire. So pretty nice and handy to have. These are made by Tecton. These are crow's feet. And the thing that I like about Tecton is they don't skip. So I have every size here between 8 and 24 millimeter. Every single size. Doesn't skip a size. Nothing bothers me more than getting a wrench set or something and it like is missing, you know, an 11 millimeter. I don't, I don't know why they do that. Um, they make ratchets. This is a nice ratchet here. I've had this for a long time. I put a lot of abuse on it. It's a quarter inch drive, swivel head. Very nice. This is another one that I just recently purchased. Tacked in, swivel head, but it's got little detents that it lock. It doesn't lock, but it has detents, and the detents are pretty strong. Pretty fine tooth, not bad. All these tools are, are really good. These are Tecton sockets. The nice thing, I know you aircraft mechanics, quarter inch, 12 point sockets. Not the easiest thing to come by, but uh, Tecton makes them. And they, like I said, they make a full set. They don't skip anything. These are the same thing, but these are the shallow 12 point. The and then I have these wrench rolls here. Same thing, they do not skip. So these are little stubbies. Just nice wrenches, they work great. Haven't had any issues with them. I love the little rolls. Keeps everything nice and neat. You can throw them around. These are, what are these? Uh, yeah, these are box end. So these are these are nice. You get twice as many wrenches because it's you know it's opposite. So this is a 14 and a 12. So 14, 12. Very nice quality. I don't even remember how much these are, but the, everything on their website is very reasonable. Very happy with my Tecton tools. Um, a little bit about Tecton. A lot of their stuff. Let me get let me get you off my head here. Okay, guys, I pulled you down off of the head, off of my head there. Um, so nice thing about Tecton is a lot of their stuff is made in America. Um, so it's and it's an American company, as far as I know. Maybe maybe I'm wrong, but I believe they're based in like Wisconsin or Michigan or something like that. But uh, it's a great source of very 
affordable tools that get the job done and they're super high quality. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for today. Um, I appreciate y'all watching and uh, hopefully if you're in need of a torque wrench, showing you guys this, uh, the calibration results from the Tekton torque wrench um, helped you out in making your decision if you, if you want to buy one. Uh, I highly recommend it. It saves a good bit of money and you still get um, the results that you're looking for as far as the um, accuracy. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you next time. What are you guys still doing here? What are you doing in my fridge? Get out of here. Before you do, hit the like button. Do it. Go ahead. Right now, hit the like button. Okay. Now, if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Thanks. Get out of here. Get a life.